Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about a fan's dog fighting and share some tricks and tips with you that could probably help you out in the near future. I just want to let you guys know this is the first tutorial video I've ever created so if I have left anything out or made any incorrect statements please do let me know in the comments section. So what is dog fighting? Well, dog fighting in Star Citizen is a lot different to real life. The best way to describe dog fighting in Star Citizen is basically having to dance with the enemy. There is a few things you need to remember before engaging the enemy. I am going to break this down in a couple of steps to make it easier for everybody. Number 1. Know your surroundings. So this is very important because this can decide between life and death. Knowing your surroundings gives you advantage over the enemy and also allows you to plot any escape routes that you need to get away safely. Number 2. Assess your target. Information is key. This will give you an advantage over your enemy and allow you to adapt to their flight style. Nobody flies the same and having this information will allow you to adjust your technique when and where required. Number 3. Keep calm, don't panic. I can't stress this enough, this is probably the most important point to remember. Lose your cool, you lose the fight. The trick is to stay calm and get your enemy to panic. By doing this, he or she start making mistakes, perfect for you to hit them profile shots. Number 4. Don't go blind. Going blind means you can't see your target. This leaves you wide open to profile shots from the enemy. So you need to keep your enemy in your kill zones at all times. A classic example of this is the Gladius. The Gladius has a built in kill zone in the HUD shown here. So address this kill zone trick in combat to all ships. Number 5. Control the fight. Don't let your enemy control the fight. You need to control the fight. You need to fight at a distance you feel most comfortable. Me personally, I like to get up nice and close to my targets to angle snap and hit them clean nasty profile shots. And finally, respect your enemies. I know it's hard sometimes to bite your lip, especially if you're wiping an organisation over gym town, but remember, these guys you are fighting are most likely just learning like you are. Everyone has to start somewhere. If you die, it doesn't mean they're better than you. They might have a wee bit more experience or maybe you just made a mistake. So learn from it, always call GG after a win or loss. But the best way to learn and get better is just to go outside your comfort zone, try new things, fight that 10 mana job town, you know, get out there and do it. Okay, so I'm going to some basic flight maneuvers you need to know. The J hook, the corkscrew, the split S and the cradle rock. Now, I haven't made a video on this because of the new flight model coming out soon, but if people are generally interested, I will show you how to perform them after 3.5. But in the meantime, I have linked to YouTubers in the description that use the same techniques, which I would really recommend checking them out as they've done a fantastic job of breaking them down. As I mentioned before, dogfighting in Star Citizen is a dance. You need to keep moving. If your target makes a J-hook remover, you need to make one also to counter it. This will be back and forward until someone makes a mistake, or else someone finds an angle for a profile shot. So quick reaction time is essential. But seriously guys, you need to practice, practice, practice. Jump into the arena commander, learn how to lead your pit for good aim on targets, learn how to counter attack when you're switching from a defensive to offensive. But as I said, you need to get out of your comfort zone, try new things, come up with new ways to adapt to your flight style. Okay, so I'm now gonna show you a video of a live dog fight that happened yesterday, and I'm gonna try my best to explain what I'm thinking and how I am adapting to the situation. I also forgot to mention that a dog fight is like a game of football or soccer for you guys in the US. Every hit on target is a goal, and you need more goals than your opponent to win the game. This also applies here. So without further ado, here's the video. Okay, so the first thing I do is I overclock the power plant and the coolers. Um, you notice, notice that I'll actually using the slider, I'm not actually over, overclocking using the button because this actually uh, produces a bug which gives you a stealth bug, which everyone calls it in game. So you don't like to cheat, no one likes to cheat so don't do it. Um, one thing to remember, do not overclock weapons either because overclocking your weapons actually affects your seals too. So. I know it's tempting to overclock your weapons, just don't do it. Okay, so this guy has attacked me on the rear. Um, first thing I need to do is get him in my kill zone ASAP. And what I'm doing now is I'm in defensive mode. So I'm just maneuvering, doing the J hooks, uh, doing the corkscrew and the cradle rock uh, all in one. 
So I'm just assessing the target to see what his flying, his flying skills like. Just trying to serve and see how he flies. Got to fire missiles at him here just to buy some more time. I notice whenever I'm pulling G-forces here, I'm actually not blank blacking out because this is called G-lock. So whenever you pull G's, um, you need to counteract the G-force as well so you don't black out. So yep, just keep moving. Just trying to find this angle. Now, I'm not being overly aggressive here, I'm just holding back a bit. I'm also taking in my surroundings, I know there's a couple of ships here at Grim Hex. I know I can retreat to Grim Hex if I need to. Don't, don't let him get on top of you. If he is getting on top of you, you need a roll and switch. So I'm counteracting his moves, so he can't get the better. Okay, so there's another target has actually entered into the dogfight. Um, Lucky enough he's not shooting at me, so this is actually give me an advantage. So this is actually, I'm just keeping my kill here, I'm actually talking to my friend as well, you know, just a general conversation. But now this other guy's pushing him, which is making him panic, and this is what I want. So I can start being a wee bit more aggressive here, and chasing him down. Okay, he's still shooting at me, so I just need to remove maneuver. Just try and get away from the fire. Now he knows that he's having issues with hitting me because of using the J hook, using the corkscrew, and the cradle. So he's going to switch to the other target here and try and eliminate him. This will give me a, a good opportunity to try and get some angles on him. So, I'm just going to try and hold back a bit here because, I mean, I'm not getting hit. I'm, I'm safe because they're both fighting each other. So I'm going to try and let this other guy try and get some hits on him to weaken his shields so I can come in for the kill. So he's killed the other guy, so it's back to 1v1 again. So I'm going into offensive mode now, because I'm starting to get used to his, his fighting style. I'm also killed, keeping him in the kill zone. As you can see, he's not really getting away from that kill zone. I'm also cradling here, just to try and get close. So I'm applying a lot of pressure on him here, to try and get him to slip up. There we go, there's one hit, that's what we wanted. Has took out one of his engines, so what's making him only be able to strafe one way? Because if he strafes the other way, he's not going to get the momentum he's actually getting.
almost blacked out there, so I had to correct the G-lock. Just keep pressuring, firing a couple of shots, another hit. Okay, he's lost two engines now, so this is the perfect opportunity for the kill shot. Got another hit. And for the second pass. One, two, bye bye. Okay guys, that's how you do it. I mean, as simple as that, you know, don't just rush in, you know, guns blazing, that's the worst thing you can do. Just say, sit back, go into the defensive if someone's attacking you, observe your target, you know, assess the situation, and then make your move. It's just to their flight, adapt, and go in for the kill. As simple as that. I just want to give a big shout out to Agincourt, that's the guy who I was fighting in the video. I mean, the guy is an ace pilot, and I had to pull off some tricky maneuvers to actually get him in the end. But perhaps to you, man. Really, really good job. And I just want to thank everyone for taking the time to watch the video. And uh, hopefully, it's you've got something good out of it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And I'm sure you can get more videos like this up in the future.